Good morning, sunshine. No. Hello, hello, sunshine. It's mighty good to see you, bright sunshine. Hey, hey, y'all. Good morning. How you doing? Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Got a question for y'all, and I really want y'all to please respond down below. Leave your comments. Um, let me know what you think. Please answer this question because I am doing a um a, a a survey. Okay. And the question is, do you think parents should apologize to their children? Do you ever think that that's necessary? Or do you feel like you're the boss and you pay the bills and you'll never, ever apologize to a kid? Me? Apologize to a little squirt? No, seriously. Um, And if it's not to a child, what about your adolescent child? Um, the communication is very important, or your adult child. What happens when your adult child looks at you or comes to you and tell you certain things about your parenting style that they had a problem with, um, they didn't like, uh, they thought it was disrespectful or abusive? Um, how do you handle that conversation? Mm. That's the word I want to talk about today. And I want y'all to be honest about that. Because, see, it is right there is where all this craziness kind of, like, lies. Because, you know, a lot of people are, are, are really down in, like, or, or talk bad about Charlemagne, saying, because this mental health kick and he's on this stuff. And what y'all got to realize is, once you get away from the madness for a minute and you can even have a different situation where you're not just surviving, surviving and always in that mode, you start to see just how dysfunctional we are as a group. And we try to use that dysfunction as a common thread to say that it's blackness or it's how we get down. or um, And it may be, but is it healthy? You know, it is that why a lot of us are having strokes and stuff so early. Not just the diet, it's the pressure and the way we are being raised. Those of us who have mothers that are always screaming. So from the time you're a little teeny baby to the time you come up, all you hear is her fussing and screaming. Can you imagine how those vibrations in that house are? Uh, I mean, and I'm not saying you're going to have a house that's perfect. I've yelled in my house before. So, you know, I'm not trying to go, ooh. My point is, that's the difference between a kids that see dysfunction and fighting and yelling and screaming and disrespect and drug use and all that. Every alcoholism, every single day. So maybe you stop using drugs. Maybe you don't um, party the way you used to do. But you can drug all your children through all that garbage. And now you're a great-grandmother, a grandmother. How do you respond to them talking to you about the detrimental type of behavior that you put them through? Are you able to listen? Are you able to stand in the truth? Uh, and hear stuff about you and realize that through it all, your soul has never, ever been touched. But your body has been through some stuff. Are you able to separate the two? Or do you get mad and say, well, I'm your mom and I took it too. You better be glad you was here. I could have aborted you. <laughs> How do you handle that conversation? Because it's real important. Very important. And um, while I'm here, I just want to make sure I apologize. I'm not apologize, but I make sense out of, because sometimes I get crazy. 
I want to make sense of what I said about uh, Nick Cannon. And um, that was not disrespect. It was only out of, um, and I'm just mentioning it right here because it's popping on my dome. It's only talking about, it was to talk about that dark skin, light skin, even treatment of us in our community. Okay, bam. So I'm going back away from there or I'll forget the rest of my thought. Um, how do you communicate with your adult children? And do you create an environment where they can talk to you and tell you and be open and honest about what's going on in their lives? That doesn't mean your offspring is not going to lie to you. They ain't fall from heaven. They from hell like the rest of them. But I know I used to always tell mine, I'd be like, look, whatever you did, I just want to tell you this right now, whatever it is. And, and I mean, since they were like maybe five for six, I don't know, little bitty tots. Whatever you did and you get scared. And you don't want to tell me the truth. Just know that I love you so much that I'd rather hear it from you than anybody in the world. So if it's something that you got in trouble about, and if it's something that you know that they're going to call me about, or something that you don't feel comfortable, know that if I hear it coming from you first, and you're telling me the truth, even if your behavior was not what it was supposed to be because you know the difference. Of what you, you know, what's right, what's wrong. And so, short of that, if you the one that's telling me, even if you lied to them, if you did something bad to them, you be the one to tell me the truth and don't let it be somebody else. Then we can get through anything that life has to throw our way. And that's how we were raised. My mother was a little, and parents were a little bit more psychotic because I think they told us um, if, if we ever went to jail and if it, you know, was on some dumb stuff, if it was never about anything uh, community-based or if it was never about helping somebody other than ourselves, uh, don't call them at all. And I, we were raised that way. But that was different, and that's the way I tried to, um, again, deal with my family. How many of y'all have op left an open environment to communicate with your children? And now that they're adult children and that they're adult children, alcoholics or, 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 or crack user or ex-cocaine user, whatever, how is it hearing back from your offspring, your behavior, how it affected them and is it a constant on the hamster wheel argument every time y'all get together? Or do you have enough tools in your shed? <laughs> As my sister Lisa said, um, do you have enough tools in your shed where you can pull out a screwdriver when you really need one and don't pull out a hammer when you need a screwdriver? And listen to these conversations and learn a little bit and have some compassion and become uh, a little bit understanding and empathetic to why your offspring is in the condition or the behavior that they're in. And without blaming your other significant partner, the other half of creating this person. Hmm? Unless that person is not around. So I just wanted to ask that question today because I really want y'all to answer me. <laughs> I'm hoping y'all will give me your input on that because I'm getting a lot of emails and stuff about uh, or talking to people. Say they, and I know what they mean. They can't talk to their parents. They can't talk to their mother or their uh, black parents. We can't, they, we can't even talk to them. We just go on. And we put that on, on top of our hurt, all that other stuff like that. Because we're not even able to express what, to them 
what we feel about how they raised us or what they did or what they took us through or what happened to us on, uh, uh, um, because of them. Because remember, I always say children are hostages. <laughs> They're hostages. You know. So are you ever asking the hostage how he feels? Gotta think about it. So that's my question for this morning. I hope y'all, oh, please, please y'all answer me. Good morning to some of these uh, new subscribers as well. I want to say welcome to you. Um, I didn't, y'all know, listen, y'all on a page with a person past 50. So there's sometimes I remember some things and there's some time, but y'all always in my heart and I'm always appreciative of just coming by here, my page, because that's why I'm still looking for a virtual assistant because I have um, uh, um, so many things that I'm able to do and it just takes a lot of reading and I didn't grow up in the computer generation. So um, <laughs> somebody just gave me a website where they said I could probably um, hire somebody, but I'm looking for a student, a young student. It don't matter if you're black or white. I need to be helped or or um I need to pay you to you know do some editing and things for my channel. You know, and I like I said, I basically really would rather have a young person. Um so with that being said, um I I would like for y'all to like this video. I would like for y'all to share this video and subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell if you haven't, um, unless you just don't give a damn. But otherwise, come on, hang out with me. Your favorite, favorite, favorite auntie, grandmama on your daddy's side. <laughs> or your mama's side, whichever one you like. But the fact of the matter is, I'm a seasoned sister on here. Try to talk to y'all and, and spread a little love and spread a little wisdom, okay? And that's all it is. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? So, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, share, answer the question, give me your take, and let me know if you can say what you want to say to your parents. Were they open? Did they allow you an environment where you could tell them what you didn't like and how, um, and as well as what you did? All right. I'll see you in the next video.